Hello and welcome to a new bus building video. So I'm the bus keeper and yeah, I'm the dumb idiot who will try to build this bus up. So what we have here? We have a Cherry Stone 5 string AG bus do-it-yourself kit in a semi-acoustic look. I don't know for what this AG is standing for, but yeah, I don't care. Um, so, let's open it up and see what is inside. So yeah, I already unpacked most of the stuff. So, as you can see, uh, I bought this do-it-yourself kit right on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I will not put a link into the description to this item. Yeah, as the quality of this do-it-yourself kit is really really poor so um, I can say that so because as you can see on the first view uh, a lot of stuff is missing so we miss a lot of holes right for the cabling and for the strings as you can see so we have no holes here nor here, nor through the other side, so to the poties, um, nor we have any kind of drilling holes for the bridge or the strings. Uh, luckily, they already made the holes for the neck and the pickups. Um, also on the back side, the holes are here, so this one is a little bit deeper, maybe we could place a different bridge into it. Even here we have the hole for our output jack. So we have as a bridge an ordinary wooden one, which is more, more a classical look. So um, we will place it something like here. Then we have these small, small adjustment screw with a yeah turning turning plate so which we will place into the bridge something like this so and this piece here will come on top and due to this wheel we will be able to increase or decrease the highness of the bridge um, what I mean directly with poor quality is yeah first of all so you can see here on the holes also here in the cutting um, even here inside of the of the holes for the for the neck and all that stuff even here um, it's not really well drilled also it's not really well sanded um, this is something I can fix for, for sure um, also here in inside of the cutting so this can be sanded and all that stuff even even the drilling of the, the holes for the strings for the mounting of the bridge um, the holes between the places for the for the pickups um, for the electronics I'm pretty sure I can drill it somehow um, but what makes me really sad about this kit is the really poor quality. So first of all you can see we have just an ordinary chipboard um, on top of the original body. So this one is, yeah, it's, it's, it's really really thin material so you can see how it bent. Um, so this makes it a little bit, little bit harder to, to work on it even when it comes to drilling. But the pure fact that we had a lot of gaps between the chipboard and the original body makes me really really sad. So you can see here everything is really really fine, well made. Um, we have a filling between the original body and the chipboard. But as you can see here we don't have it. <clears throat> so um, a couple of days ago I already pressed a bunch of just ordinary ordinary epoxy um, repairing kit into it. So I give it a couple of days to, to dry it really out, to, to be hardened really well. So um, I placed it in here. Uh, also on that side here, uh, we have the same issue here. 
from here to here. So we have to well send it that to fit the pickups into it. And with this we will come to the additional parts which were delivered within this nice kit. So as you can see here we have two um, high output humbuckers. Um, these are yeah ordinary ones that are unbranded. Um, Chinese wear or something for sure. So um, I don't know how good the sound will be from these pickups. Um, if it is really too worse I'm thinking about a replacement one so I already look for, for something. So um, yeah we have all the necessary stuff included so we have the tuning packs we have the potis um, output jack and the freeway switch and also the additional electronic parts holders for the belt all the plates the bridge itself so even more plate here but yeah you're right you're missing one really one important piece and these are the caps for the potis so these ones were not included into the package so um, in the description of the item it was only mentioned that a building plan will be missing so which is not really a problem because most of the parts you can directly directly see for what it is you can directly see how it must be put in place and all that stuff so like the tuning packs of course you put the tuning packs into the head plate um, this, the belt holders of course you mount it to the body that you can hold your, your belt into it to put the potis of course you have the holes so this is not a, not a really big deal but um, the fact that the um, poti caps are missing uh, it's a kind of sad so I contacted the seller and yeah first of all he wasn't really knowing when I was talking about caps for the potis so he was a little bit confused and asked me if I mean this black knobs so I told them yes I mean the black knobs for the turnings for the volume and the, the tone adjustment so um, he said he would try to take a look um, yeah and sent me some new ones. I already ordered new ones so they will hopefully arrive by today or <laughs> at least during the building up of this. So um, okay so no worries we will fix it um, but yeah this makes me kind of sad. So um, of course yeah we have also here yeah poor quality so yeah hardened steel not really hardened steel but steel plate. Um, Short work will work hopefully. So um, also we had a hammer plate here. Um, yeah, normally it would be would be placed something like that. So um, I will not use it. So because I have my my own my own imagine uh, imagination about um, the the design of it. So um, for the for the uh, oh yeah. Um, I forgot to, to show you the fretboard, so this is also, yeah, nothing special, um, really rough surface, so you can see it's not really shiny, um, on some points here, yeah, but yeah, as you can see, not really well made, so even here we are missing the holes for the screws. So um, I saw some some reviews for for these for this body f um, and some comments on on the Amazon side. So which yeah said that the the head of the fretboard of the neck would be not fitting into the related hole. So luckily on our case it is fitting. So um, nothing to do here for me. So this is this is pretty pretty good. Um, yeah but now back to the design. So um, my plan 
for the for the fretboard for the neck um, I will use glaze so um, which I have already here so it's tea colored a um, little bit dark but also a kind of touch of red um, which I guess will yeah a little bit sim similar to to the to the fretboard itself so from the coloring side um, from the coloring view could be a little bit brighter um, hopefully but I guess this will will fit pretty well onto the fretboard um, for the body I will use um, stain so to to color it so um, plan is to color the whole body even the, the downside and the backside um, will color it with, with black stain. So um, and then we put some some yellow in the middle, then we made some dark red and also some purple. Where I'm also waiting for so because there was also a mistake uh, by the by the seller, so I ordered all the stain. Um, three colors were right. So black, yellow and the dark red, but instead of yellow, uh, instead of a purple, I um, got, yeah, brown. Um, yeah, reordering, so I have to wait. Um, sad. <laughs> um, yeah, so we will stain that, that whole body. So um, I'm pretty sure when I, when I tell you that I will use a yellow, red and outside um, purple, I'm pretty sure you already know what my plan is to do and um, I will try to provide a little um, nice looking burst effect on it. I never stained before um, so I guess I have to yeah to train <laughs> on some some spare parts somewhere. Um, not really sure so what I will do um, but yeah yeah, this is always a thing what I like to get new experiences and see what the result is. So, um, instead of the ordinary steel strings, which were included, and even here, oh no, it's uh, these are five ones, okay, so um, <laughs> on the first view I guess it's only four. But it's fiver, so this is okay, but um, yeah, to increase the tone a little bit I will use some nice Ernie balls here, so regular slinky fiber bus with a measurement from 45 up to 130. So um, this is no, no advertising here, um, but I'm a huge fan of Ernie balls, so nearly every base which I have, except the last um, do-it-yourself bass which I have made, which you have seen in the last, um, one of the last videos. So I there I used uh, the R strings, but on every other guitar and also on my basses, I regularly use the Ernie's. So yeah, um, also yeah, I already made my Fritz ruler here, so I made a couple of marks into it, which will be used for the holes for the strings. So this is already be done. Um, yeah, and. Now I would say so um, it's enough for now but when I will start with the yeah real work I will take you with me and until then I would say enjoy and see you in the next video. Bye bye.